Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be another gear video. I have reached like over 70k stat if I have four rings equipped. So I am just going to go over my gear. And the, as a usual disclaimer, guys, this is not like a flexing video. Like I really could give less of a shit of like showing off my gear. Like it's not that like kind of video like I'm not trying to be arrogant or whatever it's just this is just for educational purposes if people find this you know like oh I want to have this kind of gear or I want to progress to this level of strength or whatever then yeah this is the kind of video for you to watch but yeah this is just me just documenting my gear so let's just get right into it so totems the same hunter totem otherworld cygnus and then the ancient slate replica 75 luck three attack three percent all stat very nice so it's gonna go but we're gonna go from left to right as usual so a reinforced golux ring i found this in the auction house and i was like wow this is actually really nice it was only 17 stars so i just i really like the b pot it's it's attack i'm a sucker for that um if i see attack it you know kind of boosts your range so i just bought it and i eventually tapped it to 22 it's actually probably like less than five bill to tap it from seven or sorry to tap it from 17 star to uh, 22 so it was pretty nice so superior golux ring um so there was actually an update for reg server where they basically buffed the bonus potential like this used to be five and s five and two so they buffed it a little bit so it's eight percent b pot but it used to be five they changed all of the uh, bonus potentials which you'll see in the video um but yeah this is just standard it's not great it's not optimal it's the b pot is okay but you know it does a job so Maybe I'll upgrade in the future, but I don't really want to spend money in this game because it's reg server. That shit digs into your wallet, man. All right, Dawn Guardian Angel Ring. Um, they also did. They also did another update where um, you can see the scrolling. So you see the little purple number. Um, this is really. This is scrolled badly. What basically what this is scrolled with? It scrolled with is um, plus two um, premium attack scroll, like two of that. And then it was four, like, it's just the other scroll, they give you plus four attack. So it's just, you can see it's plus four, right, on the top, and then it's just ten. So if you divide ten by four, it's just not even. It's because I used two, two, and then four and four for the, uh, the scrolls. It's just not good. Something like that. Like, it's just, it's just really bad scrolling. So I'm going to have to redo the scrolling eventually. But yeah, this is just the ring. I really love the B-Pot, though. It's eight and six. I rolled this myself. This is completely self-made. I only bought this ring, um like with the potential everything else i made by myself which is i'm pretty proud of honestly like the b pot is really fucking good i love it um all right meister ring this is actually kind of new guys i have this ring um it is i bought this from my friend it's very nice it's meister rings are kind of out of the meta but if you don't like the ring swap like the other option is the ring swap uh you don't really need a fourth ring guys so if you want to just ring swap like weapon jump uh totaling ring critical damage ring you know use your oz rings like or uh, where is it? Ring of Restraint. This is the best one. So if you're a burst class, this is the best ring for you. Ring of Restraint level 4, not level 3. Well, if you get level 3, that's fine. You can use that. Level 2 is like whatever. But anyways, back. I digress. But yeah, Meister Ring. If you don't want, if you if you don't like to ring swap, then Meister Ring is definitely for you. I found this, or I bought this for my friend, and it has a nice bonus potential, and it gives me a lot of stat, and it makes me go up to 70k stat, as you can see here. So I'm just very happy to have this ring. All right, so let's go down this uh, cursed yellow spell book. This is a pitch boss drop. Um, I I do want the two set effect. So the will spell book it has 70 luck and then 5% all stat, and it gives me the two set effect, which is 10 boss damage, which is very nice. All right, so my pendants. So I have superior uh, two superior engraved Golux pendant. I do kind of want like a 22 star daybreak or maybe like a source of suffering, but that's just too much money. I'm not gonna do that. Um, superior engraved Golux pendants. Yes. Okay. So this, so it's 999 for the M pot, and then it's 66 for the bonus potential. It used to be 55 for the bonus potential, but they they gave Reg Server a boost for the bonus potentials, and they gave us way more stat. So I'm now 70k stat, which is very nice. But yeah, they they change a lot of things. It's really nice. All right. So my other pendant is 1296. It's the, if you guys don't know, 1296 is 27. It's the same thing as 999. So if it looks kind of funny, it's just literally the same potential if you add it up with math. And then the bonus potential is 8% luck and then 20 luck flat. They change that again. They change all the values, which is nice, which is why I have higher stat. So let's go to my dagger. Arcane Umbra dagger. It's 13 attack, 10 attack, and then thir uh, 10 attack on the beep. Uh, beep. Honestly, I don't really like this. Um, like, it, it, it's fine. Like, damage is a fake stat, as you guys know. 
um, if you're like a seasoned Maple Story player. Um, damage is less than attack. Um, damage benefits both magic and, you know, uh, physical attackers. But damage does not scale as well with um, attack versus magic attack and stuff like that. So just just so you guys know, um, damage is not as good as attack. I just want to let that <laughs> let that loose for anyone who's like watching this video and needs like progression advice. This is just attack or magic attack depending if you're mage or physical attacker is just way better than damage but yeah it, it has double damage and has you know attack so it's fine and then the bonus potential is like not bad because i do need luck i do need attack i do need damage but it's it's the most optimal is just a mix of boss damage and attack but yeah this is a nice uh dagger i'm gonna liberate soon um so i will have a new a new dagger so i'll probably get rid of this okay <laughs> that was a lot uh we're gonna go to my belt. Okay, superior engraved Golex belt. Same thing as before. Twelve, six, nine, and then the potential is luck plus five. It used to be five, but now it's plus six percent, so which is really nice. And then the attack plus eleven, which is nice for you know padding my stats. So Absolute Bandit cap. Um, it's better to have a CRA hat or a Craw hat, otherwise known as Royal Assassin hood. Um, but um, once you liberate, you need the three set effect because of the. Uh, you see on the right, it's a uh, Royal Assassin hood. You get the. The, so the Genesis weapon has a lucky item set, so see lucky item set counts for any set um, as long as you have at least three set of pieces equipped it. So if you equipped all three of the um, CRA equipment, Royal Assassin Hood, Eagle Eye Assassin, Trickster Assassin Pants, and then you have your Fafnir weapon, which would be the lucky item, which is the Genesis weapon. So that it gives you the 30% boss damage, which is what I'm getting at. But anyways, that's why you don't want an Absolute Bandit Cap. People ask why um, Absolute Bandit Cap is not good, or for example, Arcane Umbra Cap, it's not good. You just want a CRA hat or an Eternal hat. If you want an Eternal hat, that is up to you. That is if you're endgame, but you probably aren't endgame if you're watching this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Twilight Mark. Um, it is pretty... It's okay. Um, I, I changed the B-Pot. It's 8% luck, 999. And then, yeah, it does the job. It's it's just for the two set effects. The Dawn boss set is Twilight Mark and Dawn Guardian Angel Ring. These two go hand in hand for 10 boss damage, which is very nice. I'm having like, a, I'm like close to 600% boss with um, event buffs. Well, I already make it with event buffs, but without event buffs, I don't have 600% boss. I'm like 559 boss with like guild skills and stuff like that. Anyways, down to my Sweetwater Monocle, it's the exact same thing as before. It is. 10 10 7 on the impot and then i love the b pot because it's 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 so bad but it's so good like it's so bad but it's so good but yeah just it's it's fine I, but, uh, the flame is okay too 36 and 4 all right so my eagle eye assassin shirt is 12.99 and i again i love the b pot i made this myself completely from scratch which i'm very proud of um I, the scrolling is a little bit iffy don't don't look at it but you can see with the, the purplish bluish numbers with the new updates um I, I just put a, a few X goals on it just for fun, just because I had, you know, I had it, you know, my storage. Anyways, back to my pants. Uh, Trickster Assassin Pants, 12.99. It's actually double prime because 12 luck is um, prime, and then all stat 9 is prime, actually. So, okay, and the B pot is, I, di I did change this recently. It's luck per 9 character levels plus, uh, plus 2. So that's, it, so I'm level 279 divided by 9. That is going to be okay. What is 279 divided by 9? Let me just go ahead and do that for you guys. 279 divided by 9, that is approximately 31. So, this um, luck per 9 character levels plus 2 is um, actually 31 um, flat luck. I'm just pulled on my calculator on my computer. Um, yeah, so it's 31 luck and then 18. So, 31 plus 18 is what? That is approximately 49. I can't do math in my head like immediately. Sorry, guys. But yeah, it's 49 luck on the B-Pot, basically. And then HP recovery, which is fine. It apparently it works for familiars, my friend told me, but I don't know. Um, Absolab Bandit Shoes, it's 13, 10, 10. And then the bonus potential is attack plus 14, and then luck plus 5%, which is very nice. It's pretty standard. I'm, I'm, as you guys know, I'm an Absolab gamer. I do not have arcanes. Um, I just don't think it's... I don't like see the need to upgrade to that. It's just whatever. Um, Honestly, Absolab can get you through any kind of content. Like, it's fine. It does the job. Um, the only thing is, like, flame difference and the set effect is slightly juiced. Anyways, onto my earrings. So, this is Superior Golux earrings. I finally got very nice earrings. It's 12.99. It's 14.11.11 for the B pot. For the attack, I, it honestly, the B pot is so. It's again, it's, one, it's like my Sweetwater Monocle. 
Uh, it's so bad, but it's so good. It's like, what, okay, what is 11? What's 22 plus 14? I can't math my head. 22 plus 14, that is exactly 36 attack on the bonus potential. So that is actually funny as hell. Um, but yeah, it's 12.99, and then the, the bonus potential is attack, so it does pad my attack stat. You can see on the, um, uh, you, know, if you, if you open your ability window, um, you can actually see your attack power. So equipment item is like 3,000 or something like that, it's crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, love my earrings. Uh, I even sealed it, that's why I'm, that's how much I love it. It's so bad, but it's so good. <laughs> Absolute Thief Shoulder, it is 10, 13, and 7. It's all stat 2, which is, you know, all, if you guys didn't know, all stat is actually really good. Um, it pads your stats a little bit. Um, it's better than, you know, regular stat. Everyone can benefit from all stat, but mostly Xenon uh, benefits from it. And then the bonus potential is 5 and 6, which is really nice. Uh, Absolute Bandit Gloves, this is a recent purchase. Um, actually, not really, maybe like a couple months ago, but um, Absolute Bandit Gloves, very nice. It's if you guys don't know, crit damage on your gloves is really nice. Having two line crit damage is like really good. Having three line crit damage on the M pot is really good. Like you're a whale. Like you're actually a whale at that point. Um, here in reboot, like that is so lucky to roll. Like you, it doesn't matter if you're Absolab, just keep Absolab because three line crit damage is crazy. But obviously, you want three line crit damage on your Arcane Umbra gloves, ideally. So, but anyways, um, this is basically triple prime on the M pot. It's eight. Um, crit damage so crit damage counts as a prime line and then 13 luck is a prime line and then the bonus potential is really nice it's three percent crit damage and then 14 attack which is very nice um battleroid rest in peace battleroid made a video about this it's no longer as good all right so this is the the elephant in the room okay this is mitra's rage it, it, first of all you can you can roast me in the comments this potential is not good. I'm going to change this potential, don't worry, this is just a placeholder. Um, when Violet Cubes come out in Reg Server, um, I think Reboot gets it as well, but um, I'm going to just reroll it until I get like 13-10-10 attack, or I'll settle for even like one line of damage, which is better than 7% all stat. But yeah, the, the bonus potential I, I hard settled. It, you don't want damage on your emblem, it's really bad, but I just hard settled. Maybe one day I'll change it. Maybe one day. Because I, I, I do believe they're introducing white cubes, which is like basically the equivalent of black cubes or bright cubes for bonus potentials. It basically lets you choose before and after, is if that's what you need to know, um, for a bonus potential. So yeah, that, that might be a thing in the future. So eventually I'll get this emblem to be six line attack. Hopefully, we'll see. And I've got Badge of Juna for every Sunday I have the 10% IED. It's, the hidden effect is 10% IED. Um, yeah. And then 7-day Monster Parker. Yeah. And then, okay, so this is actually new. So my Sweetwater Katara. I, so you guys know that I have two Katara. I, I now have two Kataras. This, okay, this previous guitar I'm so upset about because look at the, look at the, the, the main potential. It's 13-13, and then just a random line of like 5% chance to ignore 20% damage. Like, it's so bad, but it's so... I don't know. I, I use this for training. Like, I equipped it when I'm training, and I can't one-shot, but, um... Yeah, it's it's really sad. It's it's sad. Like, I <laughs> I wish I had a better Katara, but um, I made that's why I made the Sweetwater Katara. Like, I, I, I pretty much made this from scratch. I bought it in the auction house in Reg Server. For 17 stars, and then I just tapped it to myself uh, to 22 stars. I was very, very happy that I tapped it to 22 without any fails. Well, I, I boomed it like two or three times, which is standard, but yeah, Sweetwater Katara is really hard to get in the reg server, unfortunately, so I'm very happy about this. But yeah, I, I rolled the potential myself. I completely made the potential and the bonus potential myself. Very happy about that. I cubed it a little bit, spent some money in the cash shop. Um, yeah, but the, the, the attack power is not quite perfect. It's it's supposed to be like 340 something attack. It may be like 350 attack. But uh, maybe one day I'll like 23 star this. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. It gives me a lot of boss damage. It gives me 30% boss damage on the actual item. It gives me 40 and then 30. So 30 plus 30 is 60 and then plus 40. That's exactly 100% boss damage from this. Versus this, this gives me zero, zero boss damage. But it's really good for training. So I have two Katars now. It's, it's kind of fun to have like options like i i just have one for training one for bossing so but i can also use this for like bossing too it's just i think boss damage is way more valuable but yeah i have a new katara and i made this probably like two or three months ago very happy about this all right <laughs> back to my cape the cape is the exact same thing very happy about this love the flame love the uh, the bonus potential look at that five five three perfect love it chef's kiss Mwah. all right so fairy heart 
Um, I, I hate the mo the the main potential. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's twelve nine. That and then just random intelligence. I wish I could change it, but I, I don't think I will. It's not worth it. And then the bonus potential is just attack and then luck. I changed it. Um, there's a new update where you can just use your bonus potential cubes to tier up and then cube your uh, epic potential. So if you guys are in a reg server, make sure you do that. It's really nice. Um, and then my sacred force, I have 250 sacred force. Very nice. Almost done with my cernium, so I'll be 260 sacks soon. I can basically run like Kalos at like 280, but I just don't really care. Um, I don't think I'll do that much damage, but I'll, I'll contribute like a decent amount of damage. Maybe one day I'll do like Kalos or Calling or something like that. Besides the point, um, arcane symbols are obviously maxed. Um, Sacred Force, nice. All right, so I do equip the aura pendants. Yes, yes, yes. And then I have my pets. I have 43 attack for the fox mask. I have 27. I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this when I'm actually in the process of doing this um, with the event cubes or the event cubes, the event coins, bossing coins. You can just get the plus four attack. Um, scrolls for your pets. And then I have my phantom hat, which is 40 attack. Unlucky with the four to five ones but you know if you know you know um yeah 43 40 and then 27 i'm gonna fix this and then i will show you guys my familiars and i think i'm almost done with showing you guys everything so i'm gonna open up my familiars how do i do that go to equipped and then do that and then um yeah just the same it's 40 for princess no boss damage 40 for king sage cat 40 and then 40 so 40 times 3 is 120 so that's exactly 120 boss damage um if you guys didn't know 120 percent boss damage for familiars is the cap so you cannot go further than that and there's also an, a cap for ied as well just a little uh hidden thing for you guys but uh yeah so familiars give me 120 boss which is very nice so let's just say that i'm like bossing i'm gonna go ahead and sell my familiars i have about like 525 or if i change my link skills i have more than that but uh yeah having a boss damage is really nice for end game because you can just kill bosses a lot faster no shit um also uh for my luck, I can actually pad it even further. Yeah, actually, I get like 600 stat from that. <laughs> the Arcane Uber Katara. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my gear. I just wanted to update you guys. Um, I, you know what? I didn't show my Legion last time. So this is my Legion board. It's really bad. I'm lacking a lot of crit, um, critical rate, so I have to do this, unfortunately, until I change my inner ability. Uh, my inner ability is like 20 boss damage, 24 buff duration, 8% abnormal damage, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, my manage, uh, my legion is, is alright. Uh, I plan to get my Mercedes to 250 very soon. Um, I, I have time to do it, so it'll be 250. I get minus 5 skill cooldowns to minus 6, so I'm working on that. But yeah, I obviously my legion grid is not optimized properly, but you guys can just figure that out. I, I, don't, I don't really care as long as I have IED, boss damage, critical rate, critical damage, so that's whatever. Um, but yeah, I am planning to get a couple characters to 250 maybe in the future, but I don't know. Um, it's just whatever. But yeah, before I drag on the video too long, that is my equip video. Um, if you found this helpful, I do, I do try to make every single video of mine educational. I don't like to, you know, just be like totally like self-centered and like arrogant, and, like egotistical. I do like to, you know, share my advice with you guys. Um, if you guys found this helpful, leave a like, leave a comment love to see your feedback but yeah that's my gear video i don't really want to upgrade myself any further besides like anything previously mentioned like my mitra's rage i do want to get it to six line attack but um yeah that's it holy crap this recording is 18 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and just end it now um if you enjoyed it leave a like i'll see you guys in the next one